Women realize a shortage of good men. Where have all the good men gone? From Cosmic Verse. Let's check it out. Can someone tell me why there's such a lack of fine men right now? There's like a really big shortage of fine men in this world right now. Okay, but seriously, where are all the good guys? They have to be out there. I did not expect for all of you guys to agree with me in my recent video about how hard it is to date. I was there is no shortage of good men. Modern women are just competing for the top 10%. All these men deserve like a first class ticket to hell. Most women do not like most men that much. Nice guys finish last is a man. In the long run, nice guys are the ones who know how to maintain long term relationships. Nice guys to them are a last <laughs> resort after Chad and Tyrone rejects uh, their baggages. Funny. Kindly subscribe to the channel. As it is our sole form of support, thank you. All these men deserve like a first class ticket to hell. Yes. They need to burn, baby, burn. <laughs> I don't cook, I don't cook. Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy to even joke about <laughs> and post that on some sort of social media site. And you know, that clip didn't get taken down, nothing happened. But if someone were, were like, if someone like myself were to post something like that, saying that all women should go to hell and they should... You know, they should burn. For one, I would never say something so stupid uh, because that's exactly what that is. That's, it's, it's dumb. But, of course, these, these two airheads, they don't really have to worry about that because nobody – we, we do. Um, treat them like, like children most of the time. And so they don't really second guess when, when they say things. These women have become so liberated uh, sexually – so a lot of times they forget that there are boundaries and they forget that just because they are a woman doesn't mean they get to break the law. We see it a lot of times also in these videos of these the, these body cams, uh, this footage coming off of these body cams. It seems like a lot of women forget that they also have to follow the law. And it's almost like whenever they do start to get arrested, they, they can't really accept it a lot of, a lot of them get like resisting charges added on because they resist they don't think they should be placed under arrest they don't think they have to be this is for all my single people so if you are not single just keep scrolling can someone tell me why in like modern dating or dating right now we're talking on apps talking on instagram you're sliding in whatever but no plans are being made I don't know about you guys, but I'm not looking for a pen pal. I'm looking for a husband. So the guy you're talking to is really not that interested in you. That's why he's probably talking to other women who he finds more attractive. But because you've matched with him, you've pretty much established that this is a guy you find very attractive because women on dating apps, we all know their behavior on there. So when you actually come, ac come across a guy you're willing to talk to and you want him to ask you on to a date, to ask you on a date, He's talking to other women, you know, and he's he's probably talking to a more attractive woman. And that's that's the way the cookie crumbles with these things. Hi, guys. Happy Friday. OK, real talk. Does anyone else just uh, have like a hard time dating in their 30s or even like late 20s? Like whatever. Is the dating world just a challenge these days or is it just because I'm older? Because like when I was younger, I felt like dating was so fun and easy. And now it just feels challenging. Does anyone else struggle with this besides me? Well, this is called hitting the wall, madam. Hence why dating is so hard for you. The reason why you were able to get so much attention when you were younger is because your value in the dating market was high. You were in your prime. As time has passed, your value in the eyes of men has shifted because men typically seek youth, beauty and fertility when looking for long-term partners. When you were at your peak, men were naturally more drawn to you. But now that you've aged, the reality of the dating market is hitting harder than expected. This right here is how many modern women will end up wondering why dating is hard for them in their 30s. But to be honest, dating is hard for everybody. But it's especially harder for women because them not getting as much attention as they used to is like entering a whole new world. They're not... Mm, I don't think it's fair to say, or I don't think you can say that it's especially hard for women dating. 
I don't I don't follow the logic with that. Used to it. They say good men can be found here. Hmm. Can someone tell me why there's such a lack of fine men right now? There's like a really big shortage of fine men in this world right now. And I'm not understanding it. I'm really not understanding it. I don't know if it's this. Take off the makeup, remove the filter, and show me your lower half. City I'm in. I don't know if it's a state. I go back and I, in Miami, I was just. Shit, I mean, you know, maybe not even lower half. Show me the rest of your body. All I'm seeing is like the upper quarter. Miami. I go back and forth from Miami to Philly. No fine men, but I see bad is everywhere i look why is there no fine men and if a man is fine if he is fine he's five six five five seven five eight y'all if you live in a city where there's fine men everywhere please please i beg of you i beg of you to put me on like yo you know what guys you guys really should start feeling more em empowered and em em emboldened to start dogging on women for their weight just do it. Who gives a shit anymore? I mean, you, you, you hear how these women talk about men who are short. Uh, you know, f them, honestly. If they feel super, like, no hesitation to start dogging on men for their height when it's literally something they cannot control. And yet, they get so offended as a whole when men talk about their weight. Something they absolutely can't control, by the way. No matter how much they want to like convince you that they can't because of their thyroid issue or they are just genetically genetically different to where, you know, their body works differently than every other human's body when it comes to calories in versus calories out. They want to convince you, well, that's not how their body works. No, their body works basically no matter how many calories go out, they still can't lose weight because, well, it's just the way they are. So it's absolutely 100% something they can control. Height is not something anybody can control. And yet they still will, will be little men for, for being born this way. And some might say, oh, well, you know, Nate, two wrongs don't make a right. But the thing is, when it comes to obesity, this is not something that should be normalized. It's something that should be criticized and scrutinized. Um, and, and that in and of itself bringing back the stigma around it will actually produce some some good results real quick guys I want to talk to you about ridge wallets so this is it right here this is my wallet and I love it I absolutely love this thing when I first got it however I was a little bit skeptical I didn't really understand it didn't understand the hype but at this point I, I have to honestly say I love it and I will never go back to a normal wallet like this. Usually, um, I would put this in my back pocket because it kind of felt weird in the front. And I think actually when you, when you put the wallet in your back pocket and you sit on it, I think it causes back problems. So that's just kind of one logical reason uh, why someone would want something like this. Uh, just overall, it's so sleek, it's so minimal, it's so easy. It comes with money clips. You can fit up to like 20 cards in it. So, I yeah, personally, I love it. This isn't a sponsor or anything, but I am an affiliate. So if you were to go ahead and, and get yourself one, which I recommend you do, you can click the link. There should be like some product tag that will pop up. But I will get a percentage, and it's a, a way to support the channel. And you can also get a, a really, really cool product. So just remember, at first, you might be a little bit skeptical, but you can pretty much trust that you'll eventually realize why this thing is so sick but let's continue with the video why is it so hard to date in 2024 i just don't understand why people make it so difficult to date if i have to talk about what i do for work what i love to do on the weekends one more time i am literally going to lose my mind and i keep telling myself ladies and i keep reminding myself if he wants to he will make it stick in your brain because that literally helps like don't settle for anything less i think that's really their favorite slogan don't settle for anything less what they fail to understand is that everyone settles because no one is perfect when it comes to dating no one checks off all of their superficial dating requirements when a woman says that it often means she has a laundry list of things a guy has to check off. 
height, income, looks, personality, lifestyle, the whole package. And when that doesn't happen, they turn around and wonder, why is dating so hard? This woman's mindset that she has is the, the, the exact reason she has to continue to go on dates. So she probably shows up really snobby. She shows up with this fake face and, and, and she shows up with this bad attitude. If one more guy asks me about the things I like to do for fun, I'm going to lose it. Well, yeah, you showing up with such a bad attitude, insisting it's going to be a bad time is exactly why you have to keep going on first dates. It's this attitude that ensures you have to continually and perpetually and chronically date new men. I mean, at that point, you got to go ahead and start doing some introspection. Niggas be so quick to let me take you on a trip. Let me take you on a trip. Pay a fucking bill. Pay a bill. Pay a goddamn bill. Shit. It's just talking. Broke ass motherfucker. To um, one of my friends earlier today. And we were kind of talking about how like girls just don't like it when guys are really nice to them um, or like the good guys aren't ever picked. And I figured it out, guys. I figured it out. It's not that girls want um, jerks. It's that if you're being a jerk up front, we can take you more serious. Like we're not having to read between the lines. You're already being a butthole. It's more authentic. That's why girls like jerks. We've already got the worst of you. We want to be able to get to the best. If we have the best up front, then what better is there? You know? Bro, that, that is some female logic for you. I'm not sure why nobody oh, wants to speak up about God. this, but I guess I'll be the one to do it. There is a serious shortage of attractive, eligible, mentally stable, emotionally available men. We need to get a search party together, figure out what has happened, where have they gone, and what do we do about this? Because it's a problem. Look, I have said this before and I will say it again. There is no shortage of good men. It is simply that you don't see the men that are good men in your life as dateable, but they're probably good friends. Like they're probably in your friend zone. And then for the good men that aren't in your life, it is because they're not looking to date. They probably spent far too long in a relationship that took advantage of their goodness. Those men are either working, they're either at home or they're just hanging out with friends or doing some sort of hobby in seclusion. So if you really do want a good man you better look in your friend zone or do all that you can to put out positive energy about men because they will see you and they might take a chance on you then where are the men out there that are around 23 years old and ready to settle get married have three to four kids and live on a farm because i can't find any good guys or bad boys bad boys bad. <laughs> okay good guys, predictable boring next Absolutely. Okay. Uh, big her big energy. Big energy. Because big be have can have weak stroke. You absolutely right. You need help. Dating in your late twenties is so fucking hard. Oh, this because one. I'm so content with being by myself, and I'm so independent. I'm constantly taking myself out on dates. I'm doing all these things by myself that it's like. If I'm contemplating going on a date with you, it's not in competition with anybody else. You're in competition with me. It's like, would I rather spend time with you than spend time by myself? Because that's how much I love spending time by myself. And I think it's so fucking hard because I also am somebody... Just come out of the closet. Just come out of the closet. It's okay. And also, grab some minoxidil on your way out. Who, like treats myself so like if i'm going out on a date i'm going to an expensive dinner or i'm going to a baseball game or i'm going to like any kind of sporting event like a concert like i do all those things by myself and i feel like a lot of times when men ask me to go out with them like if i think that the date is too basic like i don't want to go and it has nothing to do with them but it's like if you're not even willing to put the extra effort on on the first date i already know we're not compatible because I am extra as fuck, and I am a woman of luxury. It just sounds like this woman is going to be single for another 20 years, because honestly, what man wants to compete with his woman? Men don't want to feel like they're constantly having to prove themselves or outdo their partner. Men yeah, no, this woman is just a lesbian. <laughs> That's really all this is. She'll, she'll figure it out soon enough. I think she probably 
has some suspicions, but I mean, th this is just a lesbian talking. Maybe before some of these women date. Oh, they you're, you're so gay. And, and you know what? Just accept it. Come out of the closet. To take the time to understand the real purpose of dating. It's not about finding someone who can compete with them or live up to some unrealistic ideal they've set for themselves. A date is for building connection. It just sounds like she's trying to build up a man's stress levels. The part they don't tell you about getting a good man is this. You're going to come to the realization that none of them, none of them, I mean none of those men ever really liked you. They might have been infatuated by you. They might have liked to canoodle with you. They might have even liked how you looked. But actually liked you? No, Sarskis. This is nothing more than just projection. What? This is a woman who's been hurt in her past relationships, attracting the same types of guys, and as a result, she's built up this hatred. There's definitely good men out there. She's just been picking from the wrong basket. At some point, even the good guys get a couple bad bones in their bodies at some point, ladies. Because when you were overlooking a lot of the quote-unquote good guys, when you were a little bit younger, you liked to deal with a lot of bad guys. And then you get through a couple bad guys, you say, you know what, I'm ready for a good guy, a really good guy who's going to treat me right and everything. By that point, he realizes that that didn't work for him. And now he's turned a little bit bad, just a little bit more boundary, a little more stern, a little less, yeah, because that didn't work. It just never worked for him. <laughs> so now you want a couple good guys. See how the cycle comes back? You want the good guys now, only after you've been to a couple bad ones. And the bad ones have undoubtedly kind of scarred you, and I get that. But by the time you decide to want a good guy, the good guys, some of them have turned a little bad. So there's still some good guys out here, ladies. Let me not discredit, there are. But they're in a different kind of good. Not exactly the good you want. Because in your 20s, he was good. He could have been good, but now he's got a couple bad bones in his body. Oops, waited just a little, just a little too long. A lot of talk about bad boys in this video, but just remember, a lot of it boils down to women are attracted to dominant men. It's, it's dominance. Dominance is a masculine, a male trait, and it really is that simple. You look at the, the sex act. It's a man penetrating a woman. It's very dominant. It's a, it's a very dominant act so it's it, it it makes sense that when a man comes off too nice not really dominant at all he might actually be walked all over might be a little bit subservient to the woman maybe he's a little bit docile uh, you know it, it would make sense right that a woman may not be that attracted to it so just remember dominance it's very good display your dominance um, embrace it a lot of men have been told it's toxic. It's toxic masculinity. No, it's not. Embrace your manhood and be dominant. All right. But on that note, I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. So if you made it this far, I'd appreciate a subscription. Check out some of the other videos on the channel, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.